Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to explain you why you should know the larger picture of your data science project. What is the use of knowing the larger picture? How a program is different from a project? And what are the advantages if you know more things about the program you work for? So before any further delay, let me start this guys. The reason I'm creating this video is I have seen some gaps, okay, where people are not aware of larger picture of the project they are working on. They are aware of very small part of it, okay. Let's discuss with an example, okay. So first of all, what a difference between a program and a project. So I'm drawing a bigger circle and some small circles inside it, okay. So this bigger circle that you see here, guys, can be a program. Okay, this is a program and then there can be P1, P2, P3, P4 different projects. Okay, now what is a program guys? Let me give you one example. So here let us say Reliance has different outlets all over the India. Okay, and let us say this is Indian state one. This is Indian state two and this is Indian state three. Just an example I'm giving. And state one data gets stored in one data warehouse, state two data gets stored in second data warehouse, and state three data gets stored third data warehouse. Okay. And once the data is stored in warehouse, there will be some analytics projects on top of this, there will be some reporting projects, all those things will be here. Now, what Reliance decides is due to cost effectiveness or due to you know technology improvement. Reliance wants to merge all these data lakes to all these data warehouses together and create a bigger data lake. So this will be one data lake for Reliance and all the business lines or all the lines of business will take data from this data lake only for all its requirements. Okay, so one large data lake for all the requirements. What I'm talking here, I'm talking about merging all the individual data warehouses to create a larger data lake. This is nothing but one example of a program. This is a program, okay? Inside this program, there can be many projects. So P1 can be one project where all the data will be collected from these individual warehouses and put in a landing zone. P2 can be one project where data will be picked from that landing zone and pushed to this data lake, okay? P3 can be a project which is a analytics or data science requirements for all the data available. Whoever is doing any kind of data sort analytics work, that will be done using project P3, okay, using the data lake. And P4 can be for reporting and dashboarding requirements for all these different, different areas, locations, line of business, whatever you call it. So what I'm trying to tell you is your project will always be part of a bigger program. And as a data scientist, you should know what is the bigger program you are a part of. First thing. Now let us go one level down. Guys. Let us draw the program picture here. Let us assume this is your program. Okay. Now I am telling you P1 is the project which is responsible for fetching all the data from different different individual warehouses. P2 is the project which is responsible for putting your data in a data lake. P3 is your data science and analytics. And P4 is your reporting or dashboarding. Okay, now P3 will have all those data science pipeline that we keep talking about, right? Data fetching, data cleaning, model deployment, model building, model, uh, you know, CICD pipeline, model usability, model retraining, all those things will be in P3. The gap which I was talking about is many people with, you know, five plus years experience in the industry in science also are just worried about P3 or are just interested or they just talk about P3. What I want you to do is at least have some understanding of what is happening in P2, what is happening in P1, what is happening in P4, and also what is happening in this program and what is the end objective of this program. Why I am telling you to know this information? There are a few things you need to understand, guys. First advantage for you will be you will be have a good story for interview. Okay, good story for interview. Now imagine guys, I ask you, what is your project about? And scenario one, you can talk just P3 and scenario two, you start talking from here. Okay. So for Reliance, there were different data warehouses, blah, 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 then P1, then two, then P3. So which, which is sounding better? 
this the second one right because you have a larger story you have a bigger story to talk and people will also be interested in listening you should also talk what is the business benefit of this program what what is the cost effectiveness why people did this program all these things you will have a very good story for the interview okay second thing you need to understand is tomorrow when you join any other program right tomorrow you change your organization you change your job you do some freelancing you you do some online training whatever you do guys right if you have idea about the larger ecosystem okay then you are you never run out of ideas right just a simple example let's say this p4 is a mm, dashboarding project okay and they are using tableau or click just an example now this is p3 is happening in python okay the output of p3 is getting consumed in p4 now you know how this connection was made how this connection was made in your existing project okay so this knowledge stays with you right and whenever you go to a new program whenever you go to a new place you can always use this knowledge which is outside of p3 knowledge just to tell you right so this knowledge many knowledge many ideas will be with you okay many knowledge many ideas that nobody can take from you right very very important and third thing due to which i am creating this video guys once you reach a certain experience level in data science right you cannot be a junior guy always you cannot be someone who takes the requirement and works on the requirement no if you want to grow then you need to understand the end to end picture okay to understand the end to end picture you should know what is happening here what is at least at high level what is happening here what is happening in p4 and also when you carry out any discussion with stakeholders with business um with your with your team right then you need have you need a um, you know bigger bigger umbrella of items to talk right you cannot just be limited to this only okay so that will give you a very good growth in your coming years as a data scientist and another thing i want to mention here if you have ideas on this and if you can work little bit around this then you are moving towards something known as full stack data scientist okay and all of you know no need to mention here something which is in highest demand nowadays in data science is nothing but full stack okay so these are the different different benefits that you will get guys i saw some gaps in the industry with talking to few people hence i thought that you know let let me give a give picture to audience to understand why it is important to know these things okay so let me know what are your questions on this guys give me a thumbs up if you like this video i will see you all in the next video guys till then wherever you are stay safe and take care